Yes, sir. It's your boy B Hayes back with another one, guys. So AMC run is incoming, guys. So as we can see, the market has already digested. It was already having anticipation on the 0.75% interest rate hike, guys. Three quarters of a percentage point. They was already pricing that in. The market was already expecting that. The feds came through, did exactly that, guys. And now things is looking to be picking up. A lot of people is wondering, hey, man, how? How? The feds just raised interest rates again. How is things picking up? Why is the market about to spike? It's just not making sense, guys. Like I told you guys, the feds has a 99% conviction rate. Whenever they want the market to come down, it'll come down. Whenever they want to go up, it'll go up. But whenever you bring something down so significantly and, you know, it's a crazy, crazy it's at crazy, crazy lows. You down 80, 90 percent in certain individual securities and even assets like Bitcoin, Ethereum. They down over 50, 60 percent. You got some like Terra Luna that's down over 100 percent. So when you got things that's down this damn bad, the Fed is losing their willpower to be able to control the market because it's already you already got it to the ground. Where else can you make it go? Even if you come out with not so great news. So with that being said, guys, regardless that inflation is still bad, regardless that the Fed still have to hike interest rates and aggressively tighten monetary policies to help tame this inflation regardless of this stuff that's happening we still is going to have crazy crazy spikes within the market i've been telling you guys this since monday and i told you guys sometimes you just have to roll over i don't know if they're watching the videos or what and be like dang how you know the market about to spike today let us not do it on the day but nah that's just you know being sarcastic but anyways though guys is rolling over and that spike is bound to happen i told you guys not just no petty spike no baby no bull no bs spike we is about to experience the crazy spike to where people is actually thinking the market is reversing and is about to go into a real bull market and keep running during these difficult times and then it's just going to reverse and come right back down and crash even harder the next time guys it's some crazy stuff that's about to happen and that's just my opinion but i do believe in the meaning in between time if you smart you know how to get in and get out and take advantage of the move that's about to happen i believe and you know sell it by now sell at the top get out have a, everything cash position and just simply wait and be patient until the greatest prices you can wait for so you already know don't just sit like a duck and wait for one specific price once the price start getting good and better and better and great prices you want to be averaging in as you see those price levels that you make your plan for that you want to get in at. But anyways, guys, AMC is looking good. We see how, like I said, it was stuck in a 1390-ish range on the day. They got it up under 14, but hard for them to bring it much lower than the price it was fluctuating at, at on today. As we could see, I told you guys, GameStop was doing well. It was trading in the green earlier today while AMC was still lagging behind in the red. We know we should be picking up steam as long as GameStop could spike off, shoot off the 40 bucks, 45, or whatever the case may be, it's going to drag amc up along with it as well but as you can tell guys that spike what we've been anticipating it's bound to happen guys it's happening it's in the mix of happening right now and especially you got to watch crypto as well because bitcoin break above twenty two thousand five hundred, which i believe it will it's currently sitting at 22.1 and we previously broke above that 22.5 and i told you guys to wait for this we been called bitcoin down from 50,000 60,000 all the way down to 2018 all-time high of twenty thousand dollars per coin once it hit that, we didn't say, oh, we did that. Now it's time to go up. We said, no, we're going to come down more. We're going to come down to 19, 18,000. And if we break 18,200, that's an indication that we can go all the way down to 10 to 11,000. But hold your horses. Before we go to 10 to 11,000, what I told you guys, go look at the videos. I said we'll have a crazy spike within Bitcoin in the market before we see newer lows than how we expecting it, what we expecting it to go. So meaning as it came down and did exactly what we had thought it would do, it's now about to rise and do exactly what we expected it to do before coming right back down and i'm gonna be very clear and tell you exactly where it's going to go to before it come back down bitcoin once it break above twenty two thousand five hundred, it could shoot up seven thousand dollars on the uh, share price running it up to twenty nine thousand to the hot to the low 30s right around twenty nine thousand to thirty thirty one thousand dollars before stopping out a lot of day traders short-term investors selling off and bringing the market right back down with it when it dropped 10 grand and then drop another 
uh, five to 10 grand guys. And that's exactly what's gonna happen to the market. The Dow, all these indexes is gonna spike up very aggressively, sending all these uh, individual securities up as well. And when they do, large cap companies, we could see 20, 25, maybe even 30% uh, spikes within them within a week once this thing starts to pump up. Also, small cap companies will see spikes within 50, maybe even 60% within a week, and then give all those gains back. And once that happens, guys, I need you to be smart, being able to capitalize, get out, liquidate all your positions, and wait patiently for the market to come back down and digest itself and let you know, see exactly how they're going to help and uh, get this inflation under control. So, you already know, guys, what to do. Edge Bob on Instagram. I love you. Be out, and God bless you. We go.